Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech. Today we are checking the ProGrade Dual Slot Card Reader, the ProGrade CF Express, and the ProGrade SD UHS 2. So first of all, until now, I was using a pretty much regular sort of discount key USB 3.0 card reader, and it can read micro SD and SD cards. And that's pretty much it. And the speed, well, it was okay for a USB 3 and my pretty much old computer. And also I've been using SD cards pretty much all the way through all the stuff that I have, the GoPro, the Mavic Air 2, this DSLR camera and everything. As you can see, this is a UHS-1 card and that's pretty much the only cards that I own so far. And you can see that because there's only one line of contacts and in UHS-2 there are two lines and we'll see it in a moment. So currently I'm not about to tell you why I'm doing this upgrade and why do I need specifically those two types of cards, but some of you might already know and might already guess if you have a guess so put it in the comments below and we'll see if you figure it out or not but that's about to happen one way or another anyways let's first of all look at the sd card because this is the pretty much simplest thing here and well that's a 256 gigs let's pretty much unbox it now <laughs> there is not exactly an unboxing experience here but it comes with that nylon and in the nylon there's only a pretty much regular cardboard sort of uh, cover and let's get it out and we have here a pretty regular plastic cover for an sd card let's open it up and this is a regular sd card size as you can see physically it does look like pretty much any other sd card but if we'll turn it around you can see that it has two lines of contacts and if we'll look for a moment on a UHS-1 card, you can recognize the difference now. Basically, the UHS-2 will provide you with much higher speeds. Now keep in mind that this is a V60 card, not a V30, so it will provide better speeds for video, etc. And the 250 megs here is, as far as I know, read speed, so don't count it as your speed. And basically, that should be much faster than an SD card, but that's still not the fastest thing there is. Let's put it aside for now. And let's look at the CF Express. So CF Express is pretty much an NVMe type storage and it should be much faster. And here we are talking about speeds that will really take advantage of the USB 3.2 that this thing supports and it's 3.2 Gen 2, so that will be awesome speed. My computer won't even get such speeds, but it should be good as well, better. So let's see what is a CF Express card. It's pretty much my first time seeing it physically. It looks kind of a little bit like an SD card, but it reminds me more of those PCMCI AFIN cards that were in older laptops but obviously in a much smaller size physically. Oh, well, it feels more like, yeah, it feels like those old cards. So all the connectors are inside here and not outside as on SD cards. It is an aluminum and it's 512 gigs. And as you can see, the read speed is up to 1700 MX. And that's, that's a lot. Now this is a CF Express Type B and uh, it is metal, it is aluminium here, and uh, I don't know, it feels good in the hand, but I guess it will take the heat. And that's another sort of clue that I can give you why I'm upgrading to that stuff. Let's put it aside as well for now. And let's take a look at our ProGrade card reader. It does feel like a very expensive thing, and it is actually. I really hope it will do good. So we have some cables here, that's quite important because the connection on this thing is actually USB Type-C and again it is meant for USB-C totally, so on both sides, for the USB 3.2 Gen 2 to work. So we have here one cable from USB Type-C to USB Type-A and this will be suitable for my current computer 
And yeah, that's another sort of clue that uh, I will be updating my computer probably. And we have another cable which is a USB-C to USB-C from both sides. We have here some, I think it's a sticker? Uh, it looks like, yeah, it is a sticker, but this thing seems like it is made out of metal. That's quite cool. And also we have a card reader itself. So let's pop this out. And this is, it feels plasticky. I mean, don't get me wrong, it feels like a high quality plastic, but still it is plastic. So we have here a compatibility for both CF Express Type B and SD cards UHS 2. Keep in mind that it will work with UHS 1 as well, but it is more suitable for the UHS 2, which it is meant for. So those are the two new cards, and this is the new card reader. It should support higher speeds, and there is a reason for all of that, which I won't tell you until it will actually happen, hopefully soon. And let's go to the computer, and keep in mind, my computer is an old one, but we'll still try if we get any benefit on my USB 3.0 pretty much speed on my computer with that thing. And we'll do a comparison with a UHS-1 card and that small USB 3.0 card reader. So now that we are on our computer, I'm going to first try my old SD card reader with a regular micro SD card by SanDisk, which is an extreme pro version. And I don't have a regular SD card, so that's why I'm using the micro SD card. So, our drive currently is M, and we're gonna hit O and see how it goes. We should get close to 90 megabytes of read and write. So, the test is finished, and as you can see, we hit pretty much expected results. 97 megabytes of read, and 87 megabytes of write, which is totally normal and expected from such an SD card. For our next test, we are still using our old SD card, but with the new SD card. And honestly, I don't expect we are going to reach the 250 megabytes of read write that it should promise, because uh, I think that the SD card reader that I am currently using is pretty much limited to about 100 megabytes and that's it. So I'm pretty much expecting the same results as the older SD card. Let's check this out. And again, as expected, we've got about the same speeds that we got last time. Actually, those are even a little bit worse. Now, that's not something serious and not something drastical, but I'm still convinced that this is the limit of my card reader. So let's move to the next test. Now we are going to use the new card reader with a new SD card and I'm pretty sure that we are going to get at least closer to the 250 megabytes. Let's check this out. So honestly I didn't fully expect that, but we have 283 megabytes of read and 125 megabytes of write. And honestly, that is expected from that SD card. That's pretty much what you should get. Now, keep in mind again that I am using an old computer that only supports USB 3.0. And this card reader supports USB 3.2 Gen 2. So it can go pretty much higher, but I guess this is indeed the limit for that SD card. Let's move for our next and final test. So, now our final test, we are using the new SD card reader with the new CF Express Type B. So, we should get the maximum speed of this. And honestly, we won't. And the reason for that is, again, my computer is old, it cannot get to those speeds. But trust me, this card reader and the CF Express can get to those high speeds, and if not fully to those, at least close to them. Now, we won't expect here to see the 1700 or so megabytes for read or anything close to writing, but let's see what we'll get. And the test is finally finished, and as I said, we are not getting to those numbers that we would expect from that CF Express and from the card reader, but we do get a pretty good result. 448 megabytes of read and 449 megabytes of write. And 
I guess it just cannot get any better for my old PC. Again, it's using only USB 3.0, so that's to be expected and everything is normal here. And one thing that I have to mention, if I will remove now, which I did, the CF Express card, it's hot. Seriously, it gets really hot, so keep that in mind if you use those. Be careful with that and don't get burned. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!